All right, here we go. We're gonna be starting practicing doing this uh, presentation because uh, if there's nothing else that I believe in philosophically is that you can get wherever you want to if you get good at what you want. That's one principle, okay? Let me write that on here. You know, one, get good at one thing. Okay? That's number one. Get good at one thing. Okay? Um, number two, another simple principle. Okay? It's a lot easier to get what you want when you know what it is. Know what you want. Know what you want. Okay. All right. Know what you want. Okay. It's a lot easier. It's a lot easier to get what you want when you know what it is. Um, what it is that I want. Sales organization. Okay. That's what I want. Sales. Why? Because sales is the only way you make money. Okay. This is it. How to make money. How to make money. Okay. And it's like this. This is the actual philosophy. This is how it actually works. Okay. I'm asking, or I'm answering the question rather, of how do you make money? Okay. There's earning money. That's called a job. A job is how you earn money. A job is how you go. You work with somebody else. You clock in. You put in your time and hours. You earn that money. Okay. That's how you earn a living. If you want to earn more money, you get a second job. If you want to earn more money still, you get a third job. We know how that scenario plays out. There's only 24 hours in a day. Boom. There's only so many hours you can work. Okay? I'm talking about how do you make money, which is very important because of the word, the key word, okay, is make. I got it underlined, okay? Then in quotation marks. Because it's about making money. What do I mean? I'm talking about the entrepreneurial craft of how money literally is created where there was none. Okay? You can earn money through, I'm talking about how you make money. People, there is only one way to make money. Okay? There's only one way to make money. Sales. Okay? One, two, three, four, five. Okay? That's it. If you're going to make money, something must get sold. A good or service. You have to do something for somebody. You say, well, Peter, that sounds a little bit like you're earning money. Like, you know, if I get a contract, okay, uh, with the federal government, become a contractor, go to fbo.gov, um, and, I, and I get registered as a contractor, then I go to FedBizOps, I look at contracts on there for federal government, I bid and I want a contract. Okay, yeah, I'm earning money. Okay, but I'm making money when I turn it into a business, and what I do is, I'm not actually going out working the contract, I'm hiring subcontractors to do the work, and I move on to find yet another thing to bid on, another contract to bid on, okay? Now I'm making money. I'm creating a stream of contracts that I'm putting together. I'm putting other subcontractors to work under my contractor's license and registration, if you would, with the federal government, okay? I'm creating a business, and the business makes money. I can even automate this, okay, and put in different systems in place of automation, that can 
keep doing the same process through this system over and over again. Okay. Then I can literally build this business up and guess what I can eventually do? I can sell the whole business. Okay. The, what I teach people is that the only way to make money is through sales. The only question is what are you selling and how? Going after contracts in this system, like I said, with a business is simply what you're selling is the, is the services of subcontractors. That's what I'm doing. And I'm selling them to the, to the federal government. You, once you understand sales, that that's what I'm doing. Once you get that, if you stay in the paradigm of an employee in that box, that's the way you think. You think in terms of getting work or getting work for other people. No, what you're doing is, this is how you must change your thinking, is you're selling the services of subcontractors. Because see, now you're going to switch to this. This is what you're going to switch to, okay? When you understand that what you're doing is not getting work from the federal government, that's not what you're doing. Uh-uh. You're making a mistake. If you think with a sales mindset, you're not getting work from the federal government, what you're doing is you're selling services to the federal government. And what that immediately does is it changes your mindset. It changes your mindset of what it is you got to go after first. So the first thing you're going, going to go after is you got to go out and get subcontractors. Or which is the same as you got to get services to sell. And you want to know a great place to find those kind of people? Indeed.com. Monster.com. Okay? <laughs> Job sites. They're listed. You can actually create a system that automatically finds people who are looking for work. There are lots of people who, will, they're still in the employee mindset. They want to find work. That's what they do. They're always open to find work. What you're looking for is people who are looking for work so you can sell their services. Okay? You're in the selling business. You're a salesperson because you're a business person. And once you understand that, that you're selling something, you have a different and necessary mindset to get what you want so you don't get frustrated. Because it would be extremely frustrated to always be looking for work and calling yourself a business person. Because you're going to be working yourself to death because you keep looking for work. So, of course, you're working yourself to death because you're not looking to sell, which creates a business because you can automate sales. Sales can be automated. Let me drive this home. I got to write this up here. The reason why is because sales can be automated. Yeah, work can't. You can't automate the work, okay? And what I mean by that is, of course, I know, okay, yeah, you can get a robot, and robots, you know, build car frames and stuff. You know, obviously, I mean, I'm with that. I understand you can automate a machine to, you know, do the work. And trust me, Walmart is doing a wonderful job of, uh, they're, about, they're, they're trying out robots now. Walmart's trying out Walmart to help people in the store. They're already switching to the self-checkouts, which is actually going pretty good because they, they came up with a better system than what they used to have, okay? So you go to Walmart now, they don't have as many cashiers. They have way more self-checkout lines, 
Okay, so they're automated some stuff. They're putting in different systems. Okay, but even when you have robots making the automobile, okay, Ford, GM, Chrysler, or Fiat Chrysler as it is now, the robots are simply streamlining the sales process. Okay, and I, I don't want to split hairs, and I want people getting mad. I definitely don't want all those production engineers saying, "Now, yeah, Peter, we're automating the work. We're replacing workers with robots." And yes, that is true. You are replacing human beings with robots to do the work. Okay, so that the robot, because the robot never has to stop. The robot never quits working. He doesn't take a break. He doesn't even go to the bathroom. He doesn't have to smoke a cigarette. He doesn't join a union. Okay, so yeah, you've automated that work. Okay, but what you're really doing is you're streamlining the sales process, okay, because you're making the cars more efficiently. The product is what you're making so that the sales process can be better streamlined because ultimately what you want is, yeah, you automated the work, okay, but you're not, but you, but it's the sales of the automobile that you're really into. GM makes cars. Why? To sell cars. They only make money when they sell a car. Okay? That's the overreaching principle. Okay? If you get hung up on making the car, you're staying in the employee mentality because employees, or robots in this case, make cars. Okay? What you're trying to do is sell cars. Okay? So you got to still make cars that sell. Okay. Anyway, um, you want to you want to focus on sales because sales can be automated, work cannot. Okay. That's why I'm trying to find and build a sales organization. Okay. And what I'm looking for, what I'm trying to recruit, are people who understand sales. Okay. That's that's what I that's what I realize that I want, and I want five people in my sales organization. Okay. All right. I'm looking for people who want to make money. That's what you want to make. Okay. Everybody wants to make money. When I say that word, when I say that, make money. Everybody understands that. That's clear. That's concise. Make money. Everybody gets that. Okay. Uh, one of the beautiful things about sales is when you can build a sales organization. And the system that I in is very simple, it's very succinct, uh, it's very direct, okay? And what I'm looking for is five people, it's the principle of five. I'm looking for five salespeople. Um, I'm looking for people who, they understand, look, I just wanna make money. I don't need or want another job. Uh, I want to make money part-time. I want to be given a system. I want to be trained. Okay. Okay. On the system. This is one of my symbols I came up with. Okay. You want to, you want to be trained into a system. For making sales. Okay? Because sales make money. That's how you make money, sales. Okay. Uh, sales is, and, and I believe, what I do is high-end professional sales. Why high-end professional sales? Because you make more money per sale. Let me just say it that way. It's professional because you have to be licensed. Okay, and you make more money because your license equals more value. Want to know why? Because you have to be licensed is exclusivity, meaning you must have a license to sell the product. You can't get the product unless a person, from, except from a person who has a license. If you want an annuity, which an annuity is guaranteed income for life, you can only get an annuity for a person who has a license. 
it creates more value, okay, because exclusive. Okay, you can only get it from someone who has the license. You must be licensed to better get the product. Okay, exclusive products. Now that's important because, you know, not to be critical of any other industry, because I, I believe in all sales. Look, I'm a part of an organization also that sells vitamins. Okay, but you can buy vitamins at GNC. You can buy vitamins at Walgreens. You can buy vitamins at Kroger. You can buy vitamins at Walmart. Okay. The, the easiest place you can get to, you can buy vitamins. You can buy vitamins at Dollar Tree. Okay. So, they're not exclusive. Vitamins are not exclusive. Okay. And part, financial products, though, has this exclusivity. Exclusive products. Financial products. Okay. And I'm sorry for some people are being real basic here. I'm, I'm sorry because some people are going like, Peter, this is real kind of simple rudimentary. But I got to cover the basis because trust me, people got to get the basis because I am looking for which is different is that though I am looking to license people because I have a system for getting licensed, okay, I, I know that I want to appeal to people who uh, have never been, have never done this before, okay. I love recruiting people who have been in the business, okay, uh, and turn them around to this system, okay, but I know that, trust me, there are people out here who simply understand, look, again, all I want to do is make money. Okay, period. How do I make money? And you cannot make money without sales. There's no picture you can draw where you can make money without sales. You can, again, like I said, you can get a second job, a third job, but there's only so many hours in a day. The way that I like to describe it is like, I'm a man. And if I wanted a, a child, as opposed to if a woman wanted a child, okay, if a woman wanted a child, she could go to a fertility clinic, harbor some of her eggs, pick out a particular sperm donor have her eggs fertilized by her choice of candidates and can and refreeze them until she's ready to, you know, be impregnated, okay? Be impregnated, nine months later, she has a baby. She has a child, choked with by her choice of candidates, okay, that have certain clauses that she chooses. I, as a man, if I want a child, I can have my sperm frozen, I can go to a fertility clinic. I can choose from a candidate of eggs, egg donors, women. I can have those eggs fertilized with my sperm. Okay. But I cannot have the child. I must find a woman, a surrogate, to have the child for me. And this is where there's the difference between a job versus a business. Okay. A job, at some point, you run out and you can't do anymore. There's a limit. I, as a man, have a limit. I stop right there at that point. I got the fertilized eggs, but ooh, I can't go any further. I can't produce, okay, and produce and produce and produce, okay. I must find, you know, a surrogate. I must continue to another level to say if I want to produce, and I must go to another process, okay, another system of finding women. Which now I need, if I want to have three kids, I got to find three women. You get the picture. Okay? Same between uh, sales and a job. If you say you want to make money and that's what you want, you got to do sales. There's no way you're going to make money without a, something, a good or a service must be sold. You can't draw me a picture and go, how can I make money without a sale taking place? Okay, I could win the lottery. Uh, you got to buy a ticket. A ticket has to be sold. Well, gotcha. Um, I could get an inheritance. Okay, great. Where are you going to put the money so that it generates money? Okay, you're going to get an annuity, an investment product. You're going to find somebody with a license like me to help you invest the money. Okay? Okay, a sale's got to be done. Okay. 
Um, but then again, to get an inheritance, somebody's got to transfer that wealth into, uh, you got to go to an attorney that still has to be made. There's no way to make money. There's no way you can make money where you have control so the whole inherited money misses the, the, the goal because you're not making money. I didn't say inherit money, because to make money, inherited money, you gotta kill somebody. Okay, let's, let's skip that, because I'm not into crazy stuff. Um, you can't, if, the only way you can make money is you gotta open a business. The business has gotta be sales. Okay, trust me. You gotta advertise, you gotta market, that's sales. That's just, now we're into just what kind of sales. How? That's it. What are you selling and how? That's it. Period. And the sooner I get my people to understand this, to wrap their brain around, to get to the basics of it, that is just about what and how. Those two things, okay? It's just that simple. What are you selling and how are you selling it? It's just, I'm sorry, it's just, a, it doesn't get any more simple than that. It's simply about what are you selling and how are you selling it? I mean, that's it. If I, if I, okay. All right. Uh, this is where I'm going to stop. That's my intro. I'm, I can stop here because I'm at, God, I'm at 21 minutes. So I'm going to stop.